going to be a very amateurish video put together here, but uh, this is what we're doing. Um, I'm whispering because I'm in a hotel room. I just finished picking up earlier today a uh, Fujitsu Celsius mobile workstation. This is the 17-inch Fujitsu workstation. Uh, what product is this? This is the... Uh, I really should have known this better, but uh, this is a brand new 17-inch uh, Fujitsu professional workstation. Uh, this is the Fujitsu workstation that has the NVIDIA P5000 uh, uh, GPU installed on it, and um, I'm going to open this thing up and box it and install ICI Do on it. Um, unfortunately, everybody from the uh, licensing department is already in bed tonight, so I'm probably not going to be able to get a license for it. But I'm going to go ahead and unpack it, take a look at this workstation. It looked to be a beauty. I visited the plant today where they do the assembly of these machines. And uh, hopefully this machine, uh, this machine lives up to my expectations. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at it, open it up. Uh, just can't wait to power this thing on. It really looks like a, a great machine. Let's go ahead and open this up. Box full of peripherals. We'll take a closer look at that in a little bit. And you can see. Oh, yeah, look at this thing. This is a beauty. Oh, yeah, look at that. Uh, let's see if I can hold this properly. All right, uh, about this system. So it's a Windows 10 system. As you can see here, Windows 10 Pro comes installed on it already. We see, can see that we have an Intel Xeon CPU. Uh, this is an E3 processor, 1535M, 3.1 gigahertz. It's got 64 big, uh, gigs of RAM on it. And of course, want to thank Fujitsu for the use of this uh, absolutely marvelous uh, Celsius H970 workstation that I've been using for this benchmark testing this week. Okay, a um, little bit of hardware certification, hardware testing with the ICI Do version 11.1. This is our uh, release version that we released earlier in May of 2017. This is a data set that is, uh, as you can see, showing the Passat uh, demo. This is a virtual services demo, and we're gonna be super scientifically testing it uh, today using um, HMD that I have scientifically attached to a chair and able to uh, let me do some uh, software uh, benchmarking while still uh, simulating the VR experience and that's what we're going to be capturing today. All right, so we've loaded the data set. Currently I'm just doing some basic mouse manipulations with this data set. This is the Volkswagen Passat. And you can see right now uh, frame rate is just uh, rendering only the mono view to my desktop 120 frames per second. So that's pretty darn good performance. This is a mobile workstation, the Fujitsu H series 970. It has a NVIDIA P5000's graphics card in it. And of course you can see that when I move around using my mouse, of course it's re-rendering, redrawing that, and you can see the frame rate drop every once in a while, and the frame rate is gonna jump back up to overall peak performance. And the real trick here is that when I start doing the stereo rendering, whether or not that's going to improve or hinder uh, the performance significantly. So we're going to go ahead and activate the HMD. Whoops. I wanted to activate the HMD. Basically from the viewpoint that I had uh, just before I started doing that. And now what you see on the screen is in fact what the HMD is showing. So as I move the HMD around or as I virtually walk around inside that scene you can see the frame performance occasionally dipping down below 90 frames per second but then I'm um, stabilizing back up around 90 frames per second so dipping down to let's say 75 60 frames per second on occasion um, if I go ahead and fly around in the scene instead of using my super scientific chair rig to move around, just navigate around the scene a little bit and you can see the performance increase or decrease. Now this particular data set was uh, set up in such a way to minimize the overall number of polygons. I want to say this model you can see has no interior. 
So the interior of this vehicle has been taken out in order to minimize the number of polygons and therefore increase the overall rendering performance. Um, this is a data set that normally we would have told our uh, engineers or consultants that they should only use on a, uh, a large workstation running perhaps uh, a single M6000 or perhaps a P6000 uh, graphics card. But as you can see with the mobile workstation with the P5000, this seems to be doing pretty good as far as overall rendering performance. All right, we've loaded a larger version of this data. You can now see that the interior of that Volkswagen Passat is in fact here, showing much more complicated um, types of materials and appearances. And therefore, uh, overall, a larger data set, larger data size, greater number of polygons uh, included in this data set. So we're going to go ahead and activate the HMD, see what that performance looks like. And again, as I fly around, you can see the performance of this somewhat larger data set starting to hinder. performance a little bit. You see the frame rates dropping again dropping a little bit below the target 90 frames per second and never quite recovering all the way up to the 90 frames per second. So it uh, um, for optimum performance uh, probably want to stay to a slightly smaller poly count if you're working on a mobile workstation but this is still pretty uh, reasonable performance and if I had the HMD on my head right now um, this would be a fairly good uh, visual performance I would not have motion sickness or significant latency or lag and would probably be able to move around um, if I was trying to play a video game at these types of frame rates um, some people would probably complain about performance but because we're working in an engineering environment uh, we're not so uh, concerned about having that type of performance of 90 frames per second or faster and we can probably tolerate slightly lower frame rates. And again, thank you to NVIDIA for their uh, contributions to uh, the development of ICI Do with their excellent VRWorks SDK and other capabilities inside of the NVIDIA uh, DesignWorks and VRWorks uh, SDKs and also to HTC for uh, providing us with these uh, HTC Five Enterprise Editions, and of course, want to thank Fujitsu for the use of this uh, absolutely marvelous uh, Celsius H970 workstation that I've been using for this benchmark testing this week. In conclusion, I could say that the Celsius H970, as rated as a VR-ready computer, is certainly a workable workstation for doing ICI do work. Uh, better for possibly in-process work with smaller subsets of data, uh, somewhere under 40 million polygons, but certainly a workable station for everyday use in-process.